Hey guys, Venomous here and I got a brand new OTGT for you. Now today I'm doing a remix version of an OTGT topic I talked about way back in the early days when I first started up on YouTube, okay? Now this is going to be a treat, especially for a lot of my new subscribers out there, okay? I'm going to be talking about a game franchise that I really take to heart. I love this game. I've played it ever since it first came out on the Sega Genesis and the Super Nintendo back in the day and also in arcades, I should say, okay? Let me give you guys a hint by showing you one of my prized gems here in my gaming collection, because since I am a video game collector, here's what I, one of the things I collect. You see this right here? This is Mortal Kombat 2 for the Sega Genesis. This is an original copy, okay? I got this back in the day when I was still playing my Sega Genesis, like if it was going out of style. Show you guys the back, how authentic this is, okay? You guys can see that, yeah, it's all everything, you know, from the Sega Genesis era, okay? What I'm talking about today is Mortal Kombat, okay? Mortal Kombat is pretty much the premier fighting game franchise where and introduce a heavy, you know, influence of violence and dismemberment and blood and gore into the gaming world, okay? This was one of those games that pretty much, you know, a lot of those violent video game activists, you know, that are against violent video games almost always talk about along with the lights, likes of Doom and Grand Theft Auto, okay? About Mortal Kombat, we're getting away from that sub part of the subject, you know, right now. We're talking about the game franchise as a whole and what I think about the franchise even today up to the new reboot of what they're doing called MK9, okay? Or just called Mortal Kombat for that matter. Back in the day, okay, Mortal Kombat 1 and 2, okay? Mortal Kombat 1 was awesome. Everybody loved it. Everybody played it. Everybody, you know, went to arcades, spent a lot of quarters on it, and wanted a sequel. So they gave us Mortal Kombat 2, okay, which was pretty much awesome, okay? This is my favorite. This, hands down, is my favorite game in the franchise, okay? I think it's the most balanced. It has requires, in my opinion, the most skill, okay? And is to me, the most fun to actually do because there's so many things, even though it only has about 12 characters in it, okay? This, had, in my opinion, it is the most fun and the best of the MK franchise to date, okay? Up to what we see with this reboot, okay? After Mortal Kombat 2, we got Mortal Kombat 3 and Ultimate 3. We got MK Gold. MK4, we got Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance, Deception, Armageddon, and MK versus DCU. All those games I mentioned were terrible in the actual franchise, okay? I know there's a lot of Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 fans out there, okay? But in my opinion, I think it was more, probably one of the worst in the actual franchise. Forgetting about the spin-offs like MK Mythology Sub-Zero, okay? The reason why I say this is because, one, there, it introduced the combo system, okay, which is pretty much, you know, pressing a bunch of buttons, you know, in sequence, okay, in a certain particular order in order to get a particular type of, you know, series of attacks that all connect onto your opponent. If one of them hits, the rest do hit, and it does uh, bigger damage, okay? reason why I feel that that was broken and that it was probably one of the worst aspects that they added to the franchise because it made a lot of characters unbalanced. It made pretty much the whole game unbalanced, gave a huge advantage to certain characters, and other characters were complete garbage, and there was no way to possibly compete with the rest of the cast, okay? And it's compared to Mortal Kombat 2 where there were no combos, where it's pretty much, you know, almost similar to how kind of like how Street Fighter is, where it's a little bit more basic, where you have, you know, you have all your different types of attacks and stuff, but for the most part, there aren't a lot of like, you know, concrete combos and linking and stuff as, for example, like comparing Street Fighter 2 to like Street Fighter 4, for example, okay, where Street Fighter 4 has more links and stuff, Street Fighter 2 doesn't. There's combos, but they're not really like combos per se, where that, you know, that requires you that actual, uh, what is it, execution of buttons you know, within a certain, like, time frame and stuff. There is a little bit of it, but not to the extreme of how Street Fighter 4 is. Same thing with Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat 3 has a lot of comp a lot of complicated combos in Ultimate 3 as well, you know, a lot more characters. But it's still, it wasn't so much more about the spacing. It was more about the combos and more about how long you keep that combo going so your opponent can't do anything. And that could get very unbalanced a little bit, okay? Especially when you're playing with a character like Human Smoke, which could pretty much combo you infinitely, okay? Now, the rest of the 3D games, okay, starting from Deadly Alliance on, the reason why it was so bad or those games were so terrible in my opinion was because Mortal Kombat was originally a 2D-based game, okay, and taking a lot of those characters, especially the projectile-based characters and putting them into the 3D realm makes a lot of their moves obsolete because now as opposed to having to jump out of the way or block a projectile and take damage, now you could just uh, step eight-way run almost, step into the 3D environment and completely avoid it, which makes all projectiles obsolete. You have to be really clever in order to hit somebody with a projectile in more of the 3D games. And on top of that, there was a combo system which still, like I said, made a lot of characters much more broken, like gave them a much more better advantage than other characters. And a lot of the lower tier characters were obsolete because everybody played the high tier characters, okay? Or played the characters that had the greatest advantage, hands down, okay? There was no balance. 
okay? And on top of that, you know, it, they, they did have stories here and there, but honestly, in my opinion, I think the story from Mortal Kombat should be just flat out simple. Everybody should just, you know, understand that these warriors are brought together, you know, with a common goal of winning this tournament where they could pretty much die in, okay? That should be pretty much the basis, you know, you can't really get too, too complicated into it because otherwise you get into a whole nother realm and you go into a whole nother, you know, aspect of the game or making the game into something else different that it doesn't need to be, okay? My opinion, straight down, okay? I hope for, you know, at least with this new Mortal Kombat reboot, which is quote-unquote Mortal Kombat 9, okay? They're just calling it Mortal Kombat for the moment. I hope from what they're telling me and what I'm seeing, okay, that it goes back to the original roots that were established in MK1 and MK2, okay? Which means that it's a 2DS gameplay, okay? Even though it looks 3D and stuff, and not too heavy on the combos, much more on the actual spacing and the fighting, you know, and the moves and the actual strategy behind it, rather than the infinite combos that you could keep on going. Because I know in this one, from what I've seen, there is combos, don't get me wrong, and there's also tag team fighting, which is okay. I never had a problem with the tag team fighting in MK3 and Ultimate 3, okay? But as long as it doesn't make it too hectic onto the level of like Marvel versus Capcom, I don't want that, okay? I want my uh, was it Mortal Kombat to be a little bit smooth and straight up gory. That was another thing. This game is known for its gore, okay? It's pretty much one of the goriest fighting games you will ever find out there. It was probably the first one to be the most gory, okay? In something like Mortal Kombat versus DCU, they toned down that violence to accommodate for the DC characters, and that was a terrible move because people wanted, because it had the Mortal Kombat brand name on it, wanted to be able to dismember Superman. And it, denying your, what is it, your fan base that for something they're so used to, you know, throughout the years is a really bad business move, okay? So luckily, they're going back to the gore and stuff that was established back in the day with this new reboot, and everything will be okay. You know, I really hope, you know, I'm looking forward to actually checking out the reboot and stuff. I just like the old school stuff, okay? And this is what really made Mortal Kombat, you know, the best that it could be, okay? So the fact that going back to this is awesome. But anyway, I digress, okay? That was just my opinion, guys, okay? I'm a really big Mortal Kombat fan. I'm not a fanboy, you know, like to go all crazy and say, like, you know, specific things need to be changed and stuff just because, you know? But, you know, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm only going to bring you guys the truth, okay? Because this is a franchise that I know and love that I've played for many years, and I want to see it be the best that it can be, okay? Anyway, that's just my thoughts. Leave your comments and video responses. I don't mind. Just keep it civil. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know all my Mortal Kombat fans, you know, some of your favorite Mortal Kombat moments, your favorite fatalities or friendships and stuff. Put it on there for us to check out, and I'll talk to you guys again soon. Venomous is out, and that was only the goddamn truth, people. Talk to you all later.